Okay, so now I'm going to mount the rear derailleur back here. I already got my uh, shift lever installed up here, my shifter on the down tube. So I'm going to install the rear derailleur down here on the hanger. And so we'll just screw it in. I already greased the thread. And note there's this screw here right here. It's called a B-tension screw. Uh, and that bumps up the end of that screw, bumps up against this little tab here at the bottom of the derailleur hanger. So just make sure you get it behind that tab when you're screwing in the rear derailleur and it should be in the correct position that it needs to be in. And then you'll adjust things later when you're actually uh, adjusting and setting up the rear derailleur. So let's just go ahead and screw the rear derailleur onto the bicycle frame right now. So I'm going to actually reuse the uh, bicycle crank on my bike uh, because the other one I have has a 1 8 inch chain ring, which means the chain ring uh, teeth here are thicker, so they won't work with a more narrow multi-speed chain. So we're just going to reuse this uh, crank here and I'm just putting on some chain ring bolts right now and just to demonstrate using this park tool CNW-2 you just hold the tool up against the nut here on the back or the, the bolt hole on the back in those two notches you just stick a tab in the middle there like that and then press it against the back of the chain wheel here and with it held like that then you'll use an Allen key on the other side to tighten it while holding it in place on the back with this tool. All right, so I got my bicycle chain on my bike here. I have a single chain ring in the front, a nine speed cassette in the back. So what chain do I need? Well, I need a multi-speed chain, uh, a 3 32nd inch chain, uh, inner uh, dimension on the chain links there. Um, what is the chain length that I need for this bicycle? Well, there's a quick way you can sort of figure it out. It's not always perfect, but a, a good starting point. Wrap the chain around the big chain ring and the big cog in the back, and then bring it up to this big cog or this big chain in the front, and see where the chain overlaps each other. And if it overlaps by one link or more, then the chain is long enough. Uh, if, it, if it doesn't do that, then it is too short. And what do I mean by one link? Well, one link is an inner plate and an outer plate, and each plate is a half link. So this would be one link here. So I want it to overlap on the big chain ring in the front and the big cog in the back by one full chain link or more. So it overlaps. This is one link right here. So I probably want to go a little bit further than that. So I could probably break the chain right around here. I could take off, eh, looks like about a link or two off of this chain and it would still be good. It'd still work just fine for me. So that's just a quick uh, tip on how to size the proper chain length on your bicycle. There are other um, tips and directions you should follow when installing a bicycle chain on your bike with a new der derailleur system that you're not familiar with. Uh, you need to go to the manufacturer's instructions on that derailleur and they will tell you exactly what you need. So for my rear derailleur, the Shimano RD7700, for the short cage, that's what this is, it's the short cage, not the long cage rear derailleur, uh, you want it such that you have a 90 degree angle between the ground and the pulleys here when the chain is on the smallest cog in the back and the largest chain ring in the front. You can sort of see, I don't know if the camera's catching this, but you can sort of see how there's the chain is sort of almost straight. It's, it's the, the pulleys, basically, what I'm getting at here, the pulleys should look like this. Okay, so now that I got the chain on the bicycle, how do I route the chain through the bike frame or, or through the, the rear derailleur and over the chain wheel here? Well, just simply take the bicycle chain, run it over the chain ring, all the way over here, over the rear cassette, the small cog here, pull down on the rear derailleur like this, route it 
over this pulley here, like that, route it through this tab right here, and over this pulley here, and then down through this tab sticking out here on this pulley, like that. And notice we got sort of like a snake going through, like an S shape. And then we can reattach the chain. 